Welcome back. So, here we are as we left off almost in the last one where we had bought the Azov and I think I was boasting how good it was and how I haven't had it stuck and then all of a sudden straight up I get it stuck. So, as you might have just saw at the start, I have gone and got the Khan just to pull this out. Um, so we're just going to change track into the Khan and maybe reverse up just a touch more. This we can reach it. <coughs> so now we're just going to pull the Azov out. Okay, we're going to go into the low diff lock on. <coughs> Yeah, it's coming out. There we go. Just a little bit by a little bit. Wiggle it. This way. Looks like it might be coming out better over this side, I think. I think we're moving it there. Yep. See those reeds bending as the tyres go past them. Certainly well stuck, I know that much. You know, this to get this hard to come out. A winch, no. Oh yeah, it helped a little bit. The jerkiness of the winch. We're almost there. This way now, hopefully. Wow, this is really stuck. I think we are going somewhere though. thought this uh, Azov would have grabbed a bit of traction by now. That is amazing. It's going to low, low. That's the maximum traction. thought that as I would have grabbed traction by now and started crawling its way out, but clearly not. Okay. And then this episode might end up being a recovery episode. So, we are still moving forward very slowly, but I didn't think this was going to be this hard. Wow. Yeah, 
got down to 15 liters in this already. So let's just change truck and the eyes on. Can we reach? tires or oh, was helping I think I just went into a hole but, oh there we go I don't know why it's going a little bit Ooh, tipping is that mean we're climbing up there a little bit I'm sure you guys don't want to see this, so I am going to cut here, refuel the Khan with the Azov, and continue this until I get it out, and I'll come back to this when I'm done. Alright, hope you a second for you guys, it's quite a few minutes for me I think.
So, we're back. As you see, and, um, we've got the C70 out, you know, bit by bit with the calm. Pull it forward, pull the Azol forward. Um, and just before the C70 gets out of reach, you pull that forward with the Azov. It pulls the Azov back a little bit, but not too much. Then you pull Azov forward with the Khan some more. You know, I think to pull the length of the Khan, it was about 20 minutes. So, you know, it's 20, 25 minutes of my life I'll never get back. But we got it out, and we're heading to finish off this one now. So, um, half of the fun of four-wheel driving uh, is getting stuck. That's why I enjoy doing it that way. I could have just recovered and then with the Azov and then come back and, and try at a different angle to get in there and you know pull it out a different way. But uh, like I say, I'm an avid four-wheel driver as it is and um, half of the fun is getting stuck. The other half is getting that stuck unstuck. Uh, so I prefer to do it that way. It's just me. You do you, and I'll do me, and we'll all be one big happy family. So, we'll get this to the farm, and uh, that'll be this mission done as well. It's recovery, I suppose we call this one. Like I said, this mud doesn't bother me too much. It will slow us down a little bit. But even with the weight of the Chevy C70 on the back of us, it doesn't hurt too much. Because it's an eight-wheel, all-wheel drive, all-locked vehicle. Uh, not much that stops it other than that little section pulling the C70 out, obviously. Right here, we tap it out and we're on our way. So, we'll be right. She'll be right, as we say. Okay. So as I say, this Azov, uh, it's, well, I think it's great. There's other Azovs as well. Some of them are slower, some of them are faster. Some the faster ones don't have as good a pulling power. Um, I prefer this one overall. It is slower, but it's consistent. There's other eight-wheelers as well, like the DLC, there's the Bandit, it's pretty good as well. Um, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to have the stability of this one, it goes faster, it tips a lot easier. Uh, it does have the, uh, the big Tiger tyres on it, which are, are good, you, know, you can get that upgrade eventually. But uh, it still wants to tip over and the body rolls a lot more than this thing, it's just, I don't know. This one I find better than all of them for its consistency. I think I may have tipped this as of, not this one, but in my personal game, a couple of times, like two, maybe three times. But as a general rule, it stays upright. Uh, it, it won't seesaw uh, on, a, on a point in the middle because the tyres are fairly close together. Uh, and if it, even if you do get it to a point where it seesaws, got a winch to pull it down and it doesn't take much so it's a great vehicle in my opinion so here we are at the farm And 320 XP. So, where are we at now? We're at level 5. Oh, we still need just under 1,950 XP. Okay, but we are 21% of the way through Michigan and 6% overall apparently. So, we're getting there. Three of eight vehicles found. That's throughout the whole Michigan region, not this map. Um, 
Still got a fair few watchtowers to go because we haven't even opened the other three maps, but we're going to concentrate on that very shortly. Um, along with some of the others, other areas here, we're going to start just to get a few other vehicles to make our job a bit easier anyway, overall. So, <clears throat> right now, um, I think we're going to end up calling that a, an episode. Um, we've got the car over here, we'll go and grab that and bring it back to the garage. What else have we got in here? Oh yes, our fleet star. I'll leave the garage in that. And when we get to level 6, <clears throat> which is sort of that the goal here at the moment, we get all-terrain tyres um, and that's when the game starts changing. You get rid of these highway terrain tyres and you can push through a bit better mud and things like that. Um, so, But at this point, I think we're going to call this an episode and um, I shall see you guys all in the next video. Bye.